All right, we're in the first match of an Ether Revolt draft. We want to make our chat a lot smaller, and we would like to play first. Ooh, no red mana is ugly in this hand, because if I had it, it would be so good. Might still be worth keeping. I guess I can't make that smaller. I feel like usually I can. It still might be worth keeping. We do have Aviary Mechanic, but we can do better than this, I think. Mm, <laughs> this one's not much better. Uh, we are going to keep it, though, and scry. And having a mountain on top makes this much better. Um, if we can draw a third land, this hand just turns into a very powerful hand because of area mechanic into Renegade Freighter, which, you know, well, it would actually be into Renegade Freighter into Frontline Rebel, I suppose. Move the stack. Uh, no. I don't have anything to use it on. Voltaic Brawler. Yeah, that's a little scary. It's a nice two drop. Okay. Well... I guess we're going to attack here. Then I'm going to play Eddie Trailhawk. Um, our opponent can hit us for four. Yeah, hit us for four, which is going to hurt. But we'll play our Eddie Trailhawk here. We'll be good once we get our Renegade Freighter in play. If we get our Renegade Freighter in play. Do we take four? Probably. Yeah, we'll take it. And Mobile Garrison. Oof. All right. Well, we can't manage to draw a two drop, but I mean a, a, a third land, but we did draw a two drop, so at least we can play it. Uh, we're not going to bother using energy here, obviously, because our opponent has no blockers. So we'll just do three. We do have built to last at some point, which can help us sort of win this race out of nowhere. But our opponent can probably hit us for seven this turn. So, you know, yeah, well, there. Yeah, so he can hit us for seven this turn which we'll take um yeah we'll just take it we could block with countless gears renegade but that hardly seems worth it so we'll go to nine here servo schematic okay Ugh. well maybe we shouldn't have run 16 lands <laughs> sometimes it feels that way um i think we just pass we have built to last to help us defensively, which is of course not how we envisioned using it, but we will use it that way if we have to. We have lots of good blocks, really, once we stop attacking. I mean, Mobile Garrison's the only thing that can sort of attack through. Okay, Chandra's Revolution. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> Do I use built to last in response? Because if I don't, I'm going to get crushed here. I think I will. Because now at least I have a good block set up. But yeah, my opponent tapping down my planes when I'm this mana screwed is, is messed up a little bit. But it does make my opponent's attacks really mediocre. So I have that going for me. Yeah. Hey, drew another land. Now we'll pass. Yep, Mobile Garrison, come on down. Right, I'm gonna try to trade with the Voltaic Brawler with my Renegade. Good chance our opponent has a trick, but we're not in great shape. All right, he doesn't. There's a good chance he plays a 6-6 six, six now though, so it may not matter. <laughs> no, he didn't. All right, so. I think I probably play Treasure Keeper here. I can use it to double block and then generate some value out of it too, so that's not too bad. Can't really play Renegade Freighter because we're not the aggressors here, and it's kind of dangerous too. Opponent can slowly burn us out, so there's going to come a point where we have to use Chandra's Revolution on a Welder Automaton. It does mean his garrison can't be crewed too, though, so we have that going for us. Probably want Fragmentize against this guy. There's tons of artifacts that can be targeted by it, which is frequently the case. Swatworks Brawler. Okay. No attacks. All right. Um, so opponent can ping us. Hmm. Sadly, I think I have to use Chandra's Revolution on that automaton just because going to kill us quickly um 
It can do three to us by the end of our opponent's next turn. So, yeah, I think we just go like this, and we'll tap down one of his forests. He's going to ping us for one. But our opponent's kind of running out of gas. We could find a way to turn a corner here. Um, would be kind of surprising if we did, but it is possible. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, now we're just dead. So <laughs> Hungry Flames kills that, and then we can't block the Swatworks Brawler. Yeah, that was rough. Um, I think we could think about cutting a Chandra's Revolution for a Fragmentize. It's just going to be way better in this matchup. The tempo play is going to be better. He didn't have that many big creatures. Um, I mean, I could cut something else, maybe a trick, but the tricks seem good here too. So I think... I would like to play first. This hand seems good. Um, do need a third land, but if we get it, we're in pretty good shape. We did get all of our tricks in one hand. Uh, are we missing one? No, I think that's all my tricks. Maybe I have two built to last, actually. So that's kind of kind of awkward, but it could also be really powerful, depending on what happens here. Um, Eddie Trillhawk plus Renegade Wheelsmith plus these tricks is actually pretty strong if our opponent has no answers. Play a mountain into my turn. Okay. We really need to hit that third land again. Ouch. <laughs> uh, okay. Gonna end my turn. Might use built to last defensively again, which is not pretty, um, but neither is. Ether Chase, Ether Chaser, getting rolling here. Okay, yeah, we'll use. May have an answer if he does. We're in pretty big trouble, but land. Oh. <laughs> I mean, playing 16 lands is usually right in this format, but we're really paying for it right here. Um, I'm going to leave him back so he can block the servo. But yeah, we got stuck on two lands, both games, with fairly powerful hands. That And then our opponent just got way too far ahead of us, tapped down one of our lands when we're stuck the way we are. And I think we're probably basically done in this game. We did get the land, though. We can play Glint Sleeve Artisan, who can help us out here pretty quickly, but it's ugly. That's for sure. Yeah, so is that. All right. Both times after we got Chandra's Revolution, we finally drew our land at least. <laughs> but still, didn't wasn't great. Neither is more creatures. Ugh. Mm. I think I'm going to make the servo here. In my turn. Holds off attacks from a couple creatures by making the servo. Do I double block the gear smasher? Yeah, yeah, I think I will. And take four. Another ether chaser. Okay. Well, I have my own Ether Chaser, but and I guess that's not terrible. But it's not great either. <laughs> the start to our games, both games, was pretty ugly. Okay. I'm going to block this with my Ether Chaser. I'm going to block this Servo, and I'm going to go to one. Not really anything I can draw to get me out of this. Um, is there? Not really. Do I have another card, another Glint Sleeve? That would buy me a little time. Nah, just Hungry Flames. Yeah, we got crushed. Our opponent's deck was a way better aggro deck than ours to begin with, and the mana problems we had were not easy to overcome. So on to the next one.